Speaking of The Voice, Pearson's Path is another headline on The Australian tomorrow. Win over the soft nose to a voice that would rise from the regions. Indigenous leader and Yes campaigner Noel Pearson has declared local and regional voices would be critical to the final modelling delivering practical outcomes on health, education, housing and infrastructure. Bronwyn, I just keep going back to this, but apparently we don't know what the voice is going to then be advocating for, but clearly these are the pillars, but apparently the government will have no incentive to, to say that that's what they'll, that they'll be uh, addressing, but that's exactly what Indigenous Affairs Minister Linda Burney outlined in a National Press Club speech. Forget all that stuff. The actual wording in the referendum question mm. is for the for Indigenous people to be able to, or this voice to be able to make representations, not advice, mm. representations. What does that mean? How will it be defined in the Act? How will the High Court interpret it? Mm. What will be the ramifications of it? But it is on every aspect, every law in the country because it affects every Australian citizen, mm. including uh, people of Indigenous heritage. Yeah. So to try and say it's just going to be on these issues is just a nonsense. It's a lie. Mm. It's an absolute lie and it's told deliberately. It's very interesting you use that word because we saw on Channel 2 last night on Q&A there was a, a wonderful young woman from the Menzies Research Centre and very brave of her to sort of stand up to talk about what people are feeling uncomfortable about The Voice and she said, you know, who knows how the High Court will interpret the, the Act. And then a, uh, a, a Labor, uh, a government MP said, but you can't be spreading this misinformation. Don't use that. Just call it a lie. If that's what you want to call it, call it a lie. And I but think it's it the reason yeah. why the lie. numbers are the way they are now. I've got a feeling, I've been trying to work out why it's gone strongly in the no direction. And I suspect, and Bronwyn might agree with me, that I think Australians have an instinctive feeling of you protect our constitution. Mm. It's a legal document, the most powerful legal document in the country, mm. that says here's how governance runs. If you'd said, uh, set up the voice by legislation, everyone said, give it a go, see if it works. Yeah, yep. But fiddle with our constitution, mm. change the, the most important legal document in the country, that's what people are responding to. Mm. That's what's worrying people, I think. Yeah, yeah. And there's, a, there's another um, lie that's been told too, and that is that, that there's been no improvement at all with the billions of dollars that have been spent on the lives of any people of Aboriginal heritage. Mm. That's not true. Yeah. Noel Pearson is an example of someone who has benefited. Marcia Langton is. Mm. Uh, Megan Davis is. All uh, incredible. Warren Warren Mundy Mundy Mundy. There are 30,000 Aboriginal graduates from universities practising in professions. Correct. Now, so, uh, and 80% of Indigenous Australians, according to um, a book I, I was reading, uh, are now fully integrated in Australian society, doing Correct. as well as every other working class, middle class Australian. Mm. Correct. You've got this severely disadvantaged 20% group, but most are not. Mm. Yeah. But the important thing is this. Where is the money that goes to the land councils? Mm. Where is the responsibility they take for people who are in remote areas? Mm. Because there's millions and millions of dollars in the bank and it doesn't assist anybody. Yeah. It's like the example of the woman we saw living on a slab for two years. Yeah. She's now in temporary accommodation, but she lived there for two years yeah. with those children and her niece in need of... Um, Desperate care. Yes, they, yep, I they mean, just put up with it. That's the question that has to be asked. Yes, where's where the money? Did, where yes. did the five hundred and fifty million dollars that Noel Pearson go, uh, got go? Where's that? Yeah, I think there'll be a lot I mean, more there questions. There are lots of questions, and Jacinta uh, Price and uh, also Senator Little have introduced uh, a motion into the Senate wanting an inquiry set up to ask those questions. Yeah. Let's see how it needs to be redirected. Why is it that individual? Aboriginal people uh, who are living in remote communities aren't allowed to actually own a piece of land. Yep, Why does it belong to the land councils who say, now we're in a paternalistic situation, yeah. you'll do as you're told? It, there are so many questions and the voice will touch none of them, yep. but it will hand the sovereignty of the parliament to the high court. Mm. And those seven people will determine what it means and nobody can mm. predict what they will decide in yeah. now or in the future. Yeah, look, long way to run on this, that's for sure.